Hold on a second, hold on a second. Let me take this thing off. Good morning, everybody. My name is Dave Fine, and I work for Shield Healthcare. I am not an actor, and I'm not a paid sponsor. I'm just a regular government affairs guy putting together a presentation for you this morning on a really important topic, Medi-Cal RX. It's a change coming in 2021, and you need to know this stuff. I know you want to ask, what's Medi-Cal RX? Well, you're in luck, because I'm going to tell you. In January of 2019, Governor Newsom signed an executive order which required the state to move pharmacy benefits out of Medi-Cal managed care and back into fee-for-service by April 1st of 2021. The name that they gave this program is ta -ta -ta, Medi-Cal RX. So the state had to find a company to run this thing, and they went out and hired a company called Magellan. Now, Magellan's not just an explorer. They're actually a large PBM. So Magellan's going to be responsible for prior authorizations, claims processing, and providing beneficiary and provider support 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Hey guys, lean in a little bit. We're getting to the important stuff. So what does Medi-Cal RX include? Well, it includes pharmacy services that are billed on pharmacy claim forms. So those are things like outpatient drugs, physician-administered drugs, enteral formula, and certain medical supplies that are billed on pharmacy claim forms. Now that means things like DME and medical supplies that are billed on other claim forms, those won't be included. So you might be wondering at this point, who's impacted and who's not? Well, pretty much everyone in CCS and Medi-Cal, fee-for-service and managed care are gonna be impacted. In fact, the state estimates that over 13 million people are gonna be in Medi-Cal RX. So that's gonna include folks that are in the Medi-Cal managed care plans, including SCAN and AIDS Healthcare Foundation, but folks that are in PACE or CalMedi Connect, they won't be impacted at all. Why is Medi-Cal RX happening? Well, the state's doing it so that they can standardize the benefit, they can apply uniform standards and provide better access to pharmacy patients, but they'll also have more control over their supplemental drug rebates, and they're gonna save a lot of money for the taxpayers. How much money? How about $405 million annually? So you're probably wondering, when is this taking place? It's coming faster than you think. It's set to implement statewide on April 1st of 2021. So let me share some important dates with you. Starting in January, providers are going to have to register and start their training. Also in January, beneficiaries and providers are going to start receiving notices. Now remember that training in January? You're going to have to wrap that up in February because the final notices go out in March just in time for spring because on April 1st of 2021, Medi-Cal RX is going to go live. So it's the moment you've been waiting for. How does Medi-Cal RX impact you? Working with Magellan is going to be new for providers and they may ask for information that's new or different so that they can process the prior auth requests. But there's some good news in there. You're gonna be able to refer your CCS and Medi-Cal clients to any Medi-Cal enrolled pharmacy. And the good news with that is the state says over 94% of California pharmacies are enrolled. So you've gone through the whole video and you may be close to hitting the panic button, but you don't need to do that. Shield's got you covered. Rest assured, Shield is enrolled in Medi-Cal and we will be participating in Medi-Cal RX. So that means we're going to continue to be able to accept new patients and we're going to continue to be your trusted resource for all issues Medi-Cal RX. You're going to have questions and SHIELD's going to have answers. We're going to be ready to go with Magellan on April 1st of 2021. Here's where you can find more information on Medi-Cal RX. Visit their website. Now stay with me. www.medi-calrx.dhcs ca.gov. The Medi-Cal RX Pharmacy Transition Policy and Frequently Asked Questions document is posted on their website. Medi-Cal RX General Email Box for questions or comments is rxcarveout at dhcs.ca.gov. You can also contact your local Shield Healthcare sales representative or sales office with any questions or concerns. Thank you so much for your time and for watching today. And remember, masks on.